LPG gang, what's happening? Happy Saturday, y'all. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, check the description of a box. Okay. Um, also, there are the one question, two question email readings that are um, there in the description box. Okay. And they are there until they run out. Okay. It is up to five business days for a return on those, you guys. Okay. Again, I appreciate you a ton. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit those likes, y'all. Hit that subscribe while you're here. Hit the like. It's free. Free support. I appreciate you. My social medias are in the description box. Okay. And those are my only social medias. All right. And I was even thinking about deleting one of them, but we'll see. Okay. All right. So this is the first thing we have out. We have seek help. All right. This is avoid self-judgment, confide in someone you trust, or seek professional guidance to break free from negative patterns. Joining a, a support group can also be helpful, okay? So uh, this could be you, or this could be someone in your energy that may need to talk to someone. Um, but this could also be, I feel like, for the first thing, it's the first thing on the card, it's a avoiding judgment, okay? So we have love at first sight. Mm -hmm. The chemistry between you and them has always been present. You both felt a strong spark when you first saw each other. Love that. And then we have beliefs. Your religion or cultural upbringing significantly influences your personal life, especially when seeking out romantic relationships. So that makes sense. You may have some differences with a person um, and that could be causing issues. Yeah. Be patient, and understanding with each other. Open communication and honesty will strengthen your partnership. Okay. So the growing together makes sense with the seek help. Um, I feel like there's just a need to kind of let go of judgment and it could be them. It could literally be either one of you. Okay. As far as needing to let go of judgment to a source, but also come from a place of understanding when you're dealing with uh, a partner or a person or someone that you deem is different than yourself uh, collective okay whoa all right, what is this yeah all right so we have the temperance card we have the three of cups almost saw that empress flip over too some of you are sages or you're dealing with a sagittarius um yeah i feel like this the temperance card is literally the perfect energy for this uh, reading so far. And the reason for that is the temperance takes two opposite things, merges it together to create one totally new thing. And I feel like you might be like, the, uh, like an opposite of someone or you're very different from someone. And that might be causing problems in within the connection. Okay, yeah, five of pentacles, you know. You don't understand, you may not understand each other. Um, you do, but you don't, if that makes sense. OK, so I feel like there's there may be a need to come from a place of understanding with someone or someone is willing to like meet you in the middle. OK, yeah, I'm not taking any of these, but I'm seeing the Knight of Wands, um, the Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So two aces, nine of cups. Yeah, there's an Empress again. Mm hmm. <laughs> Love to see it. Yeah. OK, there we go. Why does these cards keep flipping over like that? Three of Pentacles. So I'm not going to shuffle them more. But the Star, the Hierophant, the um, Seven of Cups, and the Moon. There is some belief systems, I feel like, uh, that that are very different. And take this out with this. Because this could be someone you attract or someone that comes into your life that you may feel like an instant chemistry with. But there, it may cause problems. Like your, your differences may cause problems um, later on in the connection or as you guys get to know each other. Uh, if that makes sense. So I feel like this is a need to like not let your differences get in the way of a, a, a good connection. Or someone is, is uh, changing their ways. When I say that I pick the deck up, I see the wheel of fortune. Someone is like trying to change their ways as far as being super judgmental. You may have felt judged by somebody um, for your beliefs. So say you're a very spiritual person and this person isn't. And so they may have judged you. They may have judged your spiritual beliefs. Um, and you didn't take that well. Okay. Uh, and I feel like it, it's if it didn't break you apart, it's, it created some type of resentment um, between you two. OK, but I do feel like you're you're needing to find a balance and a middle ground uh, with this person or this is what they're wanting to do. I love it because the stars here, which is similar to the temperance card um, and with the star here, 
uh, she is pouring uh, into uh, two places, into this water, this pond, into land. So I feel like this person is like wanting to pour into, uh, pour into you, but also like learn from you, if that makes sense. There's two threes here. So we're going to see about that. Now, this could simply be um, communication, expression. Somebody needed to express, open up. Um, but we'll see work together sometimes the three of pentacles uh, in a love spread can be like meeting somebody halfway like i said earlier with the temperance card wow you guys the ten of cups somebody just wants peace yep somebody wants peace with you nine of cups here on the bottom yeah you're somebody's happiness somebody's happiness somebody's wish fulfillment uh collective but i feel like this could be someone you may be at odds with or you you uh there was a breakdown in communication because there's some type of stall here between you and this person um you guys so yeah <laughs> four of pentacles yeah somebody pretty much willing to um mesh with you in order to not lose you in a nutshell queen of swords here on the bottom yeah this could be someone, too, that kind of holds in a lot or, or tries to, like, hold back um, how much they're into you. The temperance again. Could be a sash for some of you. I'm also seeing the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah. If you're in no contact with someone, baby, you about to be in contact <laughs> pretty quickly. Uh, and I, I used, I used to say in the readings that the temperance to me is like the two of cups 2.0, because this is the merging of two people. This is the merging of two energies, two personalities, um, two things that are polar opposites, uh, coming together and making it into one new thing. So I feel like this is what this person wants to do, or spirit is advising you. If this is someone that you really want and someone you want to be with, you know, learn how to work through your, your differences with this person. Um, because you know, learn how to work together instead of letting it tear you apart like the growing together says have, have more patience with each other uh understanding avoiding judging them and also with them avoiding judging you okay because i feel like yeah this is a belief thing the hierophant <laughs> the wheel of fortune see someone here is willing to change their beliefs that's insane because the hierophant is here under the beliefs yeah um with the wheel of fortune here so i do feel like you are um either you're learning how to mesh with someone or someone is trying to come in and, and trying to learn you but it, it could be a mutual thing because the temperance card is definitely a mutual energy so someone's coming in and trying to figure out a way okay how can i incorporate you into my life and vice versa how can we make this work? How can we um, how can we overcome our challenges that our differences are causing? Because it, it could be a lot of banter and a lot of back and forth. I feel like both of you guys may have uh, things to offer each other. You know what I mean? Um, your qualities aren't bad and their qualities aren't bad. They're just different. So we have to have to try to get out of the, the notion of thinking that one person's right and one person's wrong. Okay, you're just you and they're, they're, they're just them, right? So, you know, you have your truth and they have theirs. Now, it's, in many cases, though, you have to be in alignment on something, okay? You can't be with somebody that's completely different. You have to have something in alignment. So I feel like there could be a, commu a communication or some type of talk with what do you guys have in common, too. So you guys probably need to discuss that because the big things you need to you need to agree on stuff certain stuff so say you're a, a family person and this person's not a family person or you want children and they don't that wouldn't work in the long term because someone's going to be resentful someone's going to have to give up you know parts of their life uh for the other for the other person and i don't feel like that that would be beneficial uh but i feel like with the big things you to agree on so say you both want a family you both want children so i feel like the big things you do agree on it agree on it's just the little things yeah page of swords here yeah six of cups so if you are like say for instance uh the spiritual one right i feel like this person is going to need to be taught a lot of things about that because someone here is completely clueless 
uh, about things that you may be into or things that you are, um, uh, your belief system, what your belief systems uh, are. So I feel like someone here is like completely new. You may also be someone that's like way outside of their, their usual type. Like this person's never like dealt with someone like you in their life. So it's, it's going to take a little bit of a learning curve uh for you too and I always take these how they resonate because energy is fluid okay because so this could be someone that comes in you know in a later time heavy sag in the spread i see taurus um and aquarius as well so like i said i feel like you guys um you you gotta kind of work through the, your differences and i feel like they're willing to do this someone is willing to work through their differences with you because they value you and they value the connection so much. But it may have gotten off to a rocky start um, with this person. Because I feel like with the qualities that you have, you can put them together um, and create something magical. Okay. We have the Page of Cups here. Also seeing the Seven of Swords, <laughs> the King of Cups, and the Strength card. Baby... King of Cups and the Strength card. Baby, I collective. I just got chills down my body. Now, a lot of people don't like the Seven of Swords, but I will tell you guys, my one of my favorite card combinations is the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. And that is because this is about someone that is way outside of the box. You might be very outside of the box, but this is also this person, especially with the King of Cups over here. Man, oh man, somebody is willing to go against other people for you so say um let me give you an example say you meet somebody that is heavily christian right um and their family is christian or whatnot um and even if they're not christian their family is christian or the people that, that they're close to are are heavily heavy uh, christians and you are buddhist right i feel like uh, the family may have an issue with, or they may think that the family may have an issue with you being a Buddhist, but they don't care. What I'm seeing here is the differences that you have from this person and, and other people may not agree with it. They don't care. They're not going to care, uh, what other people have to say as far as you on any level whatsoever, because they care about you and love you literally love at first sight. But the Seven of Swords with the Hierophant, like I said, is someone that's way out of the box, outside of the box. And I feel like there's something very taboo about you and this person and, and the connection. Like y'all are like literally like oil and water. Um, very, very, very different people. Uh, and I feel like they, they don't care. They may have cared it before though, especially if you two have had some type of fallouts um, or disagreements. Because I'm, I'm kind of seeing a stall happen between you and somebody. And it says break free from negative patterns on this card. So it could be this person too, like needing to break free from negative uh, negativity or break free from their usual routine. And you're definitely something different for this person. This is, you're someone that is showing them a different side of life or a different side of spirituality. Um, you know, something along the lines of that, you guys. But that's probably one of my... Um, Favorite Seven of Swords combinations because that's like somebody um, going outside of what's normal and traditional. Um, and I feel like this person's willing to do that. Like this person is is going to or they're working on being more open to you. And like I said, this person would even like defend you um, to other people. If other people have anything to say about you, they're not going to uh, go for that. You guys. So if it's like friends, family, or whatever, they're like, oh, collective, LPG collective is weird. Like, they don't, they into the crystals and shit like that. And they're going to be like, hold on, hold on. Like, you you can't talk about my boo like that. You know, so I feel like, you know, somebody is going to be, like, really into what you have going on um, and what you believe, even though they weren't into it before, if that makes sense. They may even start practicing it as well, uh, right along with you, okay? But you also have to be open to... Uh, their way of life as well okay it's not just one-sided 
you have to be open to them too, if that makes sense, okay? But I'm seeing somebody here is doesn't care. They're learning how to not care about y'all's differences. You're, you might be the, the lesson for this person because um, this may be someone that, that may care a lot, a, a lot about what other people think and they may move based on what other people say and feel or whatever. And I feel like you might be that person that comes into their life um, that teaches them to do what makes them happy, even if other people don't agree with it. Something very taboo though about y'all's connection. Y'all are different ethnicities, you know, like this says different spiritual uh, backgrounds or whatever the case may be, okay? Somebody's willing to go against the grain <laughs> for you. <laughs> Drunk call slash text. I keep seeing that one. Ooh, I don't want anyone else to have you. <laughs> now, you may have, you know, thought this or you may have thought this person was, um, I'm doing my best. Please be patient with me. I'm telling you. I feel like this, it's an adjustment for this person. Something about you is just really an adjustment. <laughs> it's going to be different for all of you, you guys, because I don't feel like it's a big deal to you. <clears throat> or vice versa as something about them is an adjustment to you and i don't feel like they feel like it's a big deal so take it how it resonates i thought i could resist you i can't but i want to take i want to get a couple of these other cards too but i'm gonna get a few, some of these and some of the other ones i fail for you very quickly i tell you because it's something it's something different about you collective something is very different about you <clears throat> and they know that and they don't want to let that go okay they ain't trying to let that go please allow me to fix us I'm telling you, some of you had some type of fallout and it was based on y'all's differences. I'm worried you're rejecting me. Mm-hmm. Catching a flight. Somebody is catching a flight. I can't take the silence anymore. Yeah, so if you're not talking to someone, I told you there's a stall or a standstill between you and somebody right now. Um, something's not, not going that well right now. Okay. All right. Let's get a couple of these and I'm going to wrap this up. Something's stuck or something's just something's not moving. You're not seeing any movement. At least not right now. You will start to see movement though. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, we'll get one card and one bottom of the deck. So we have dynamite here, which is Leo. I'm telling you, you about to see something from this person. Uh, is excitement, passion, action, suspense, suspense, destroy, power keg, fantastic, energetic, break up, catalyst for change. I feel like that's you. You are the catalyst for change. With it, you, they may also be this for you. Okay, explosive, short fuse, firecracker, blast, sudden, unexpected, and fast. Love it. And on the bottom we have tools, which is Capricorn, and this is practical abilities resources has what it takes application build it fix it organization help someone task at hand well prepared equipment get shit done and masculinity i'm telling you thank you guys for watching hit that like hit that subscribe you guys peace out